Chris Rock told you, make specials a masterpiece. Yeah, you try to, yeah. Because yeah. they have longevity. They, you don't yeah. want to make them something that, that's always... Almost a sculpturing thing that we've talked about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah specials are something. It's to me. I used to describe it like a, um, the way they make samurai swords, or used to, yeah. that they bang it and then fold it and then bang it again, yeah. and then they fold it and keep banging it. So, you know, they pound on it. Right. And they fold it so that they're squeezing out all the all the oxygen that's in the... You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Just keep making it perfect. So every time you think, I've got an hour, no, you don't. Yeah. Write another hour and then and fold it into it. that one yeah. and, and then get rid of all the impurities and all the bad stuff and then keep doing that. I had a lot of process I used to do, like everything that was my... Clo you know, your big closing bit. Yeah. Your closing bit can make you very uh, um, sluggish, you know, uh, kind of lazy. Because about 20 minutes into your set, you're like, I'm, you know, it's a 60 minute set usually, or maybe 90. Yeah. So like 20 minutes in, you're now 20 minutes away from your big 20 minute closer, which you know is not going <laughs> to fail. Is 20 minutes. You know, well, if you got a really good strong right, one. Right. So, but so 20 minutes in, you're like, I can coast for 20 minutes because I got this thing. <laughs> yeah. So I started making life hard for myself by opening with the closer. Like let's That's open it, with the hardest material, yeah. and then now I'm in a much worse shape. So then you got a long way to go. Yeah. Then I have to follow it. Yeah. I have to follow my toughest material with stuff that's pretty weak, and I have no closer. I have nothing to depend on. <laughs> There's just an open wound at the end. So, yeah. but if I did that, then this bit would just through need it would cauterize and become the closer. And then you put that at the beginning, and you keep doing that until you have, hopefully, 90 minutes of closing bits where you could just flop them out and it doesn't yeah. matter what order you I mean, you're that doing. ought to be a prescription for everybody, to be able to take a hard look and make sure you're not coasting and turn it upside down. I mean, somebody once said about a business model, you mm -hmm. ought to blow it up every 10 years. Right. You might as well. I mean, yeah. what would be the point of doing this kind of crazy stuff yeah. if you're not trying to really do your the best version of your But can you imagine doing something in five years not... Whether it's under the broad umbrella of comedy and, and film and entertainment, but can you imagine doing something that you that just would never occur to you today? I mean, is there is part of your mindset today being mm -hmm. as successful as you are? I want to really push the boundaries and the frontiers of whatever. Well, I'd, I'd love to do new things. I love to learn. Learning is my favorite thing. So yeah. if something came across, I don't look at my career as like I want to do the biggest thing. So like. If I get offered something that's like you're going to be the blockbuster, you're going to be the you know the the this you're going to put on an animal suit and be this guy, and you're going to get paid fifty trillion dollars. I wouldn't. To me, that's not interesting. But something, yeah. I mean, I don't know what it is. Yeah, if but, somebody said it, uh, they want you to go do this. Yes, I would. I'm, yeah, I'm excited. But that's, for that you, that's where your head is. Yeah, like Push maybe somebody will say, go to Hungary and make a TV station in Hungary. All yeah, right, I'll try yeah, it. I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah. Take I a look don't at know.